As always, you, you never forget your first, but um, that was astonishing. But this one has been, for obvious reasons, um, very emotional. And as I said to you just earlier, it's, um, it took me by surprise, I think, the, the reaction of Hall H at the end. And, and I think it's the first time that I'm, it's sort of dawning on me that it is the end of a chapter. So, yeah, it's been emotional. And um, what can the fans look forward to in the long farewell? It's, um, I think season nine is the season that I always thought we would get to when I, when I wrapped the pilot in Atlanta nine years ago. It's, um, it's, a, it's a very powerful uh, story about, you know, big pressures on the communities and ideologies and people fighting for quite a, f a fragile piece and um, and also we get kick-ass action with horses uh, which was exciting to say the least um, and I think two of my favorite episodes since the pilot um, what's the uh, what's the atmosphere like on the set with so many people have left but now you're the one you know we're farewelled so many people we love on the show how how, how is that feeling you know uh, the the cast uh, are magnificent, and they have been throughout, and uh, and it's so impressive the way that they've dealt with this, and they've not, you know, it's quite easy to sort of like just capitulate or cry, and talk, but they haven't. They've gone the opposite way, and they've all stepped up and become leaders in their own right, and they've always been amazing actors, uh, and it's it's the best ensemble I've ever worked with. So that's taken care of. It's me that's the problem, you know. I, I'm trying to process this uh, this decision I made, and it's uh, it's difficult, but it's also the right decision. Uh, was it the, what, the best career? Otherwise, the best that. career advice you've ever received. The best career advice I've ever received was from uh, when I directed, and it was a director um, who said, "If you don't know the answer." Ask someone who does. Like that. It's good, right? And really quickly, last question: um, uh, Is it? Are you going to miss Comic Con, or I mean, what's your relationship with it? Well, the relationship is absolutely, you know, part of this job. I mean, without Comic Con, we would not be here nine years later. This is the lifeblood of our show, and we love it. Uh, the only regret we have. And I think Jeffrey was the same, is that, you know, we didn't get to go on the, the floor. Wasn't that, yeah. it sucked. And, and that was the only um, downside because that were for me and I think for the rest of the gang was always the fun bit as well. When we get, I mean, we met fans, of course, but it, it wasn't the same this year. And, and it has become more and more, we've noticed it in the nine years that we've been here, it's become more corporate. Um, and I like, you know, the first time I came here. I just thought it felt a little grungier, a little edgier, and a bit more... Fan-oriented. What? Fan it, was, it was for the fans, you know, and, and such with life, you know. They thought, you know, the corporations follow the money. Yeah. Well, next year you'll be able to, like, put on a mask and go out on the floor. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just about to do it now, so don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.